Personally, I like to save a few bucks anywhere I can. I also like to set the mood once in a while. And when I think about setting the mood, I think about the mensch with the wrench, Michael Goldstein. Okay, I don't really think about Michael Goldstein when I think about setting the mood, but I do think about him when I'm thinking about dimmers. Today we're gonna to install a dimmer switch, which is gonna allow you to adjust the light level. It's great in pretty much any room in your house. Basically a simple project that won't take very long and is pretty inexpensive to do. It also helps with energy efficiency, right? Right, because you're not running the bulbs at um, full capacity, so every time you dim them a little bit, it saves you, you know, a couple pennies, but pennies add up over time. Before you start this project, here's what you'll need. A Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, some electrical tape, and of course, the dimmer. This one costs us about 15 bucks at a hardware store. So the first step is to remove the cover plate here. Just hang on to this so we can put it back on when we're done. I'm gonna go shut off the power and I'll be right back. Once the power is turned off at the breaker box, we're safe to remove the switch from the wall and disconnect the wires. I see like a ton of wires going on. It looks like a mess, almost like a squirrel's nest or something back there. <laughs> How do we make sense of all that? So the only wires we need to worry about is this red one, which is gonna be our power wire, and this orange one, which is what feeds up to the lighting fixtures. Okay. So I'm gonna remove the screws here. Okay. And then on the new dimmer, they're just gonna uh, match up with the wires. So in our case, we're just gonna be able to connect both of these wires to uh, the wires off our dimmer and we're, we're ready to go. So can you hand me the dimmer? Sure. So this switch allows you to use it for two different setups. Okay. One setup is what we're gonna do, which is when you have a single switch. The other setup is for when you have multiple switches called a three-way setup, when you have two switches, one okay. on each side of the room. A little confusing, but if you ask at the store, they'll, they'll make sense of it. Make sure that you tell them how many switches you have okay. that control your okay. lights. In this case, we're not using this wire, it's already capped off. Okay. And then if you wanna hand me the wire caps, I just need to connect these two wires. Make it nice and snug. So these little wire caps, are these something you just you can find at the stores? They have these at the store. These actually come with the dimmer. And we're gonna connect these two. As an added precaution, the mensch likes to wrap the caps with some electrical tape to ensure they're secure inside the wall. Once we do this, we'll put the switch back in the wall and turn the power on and light it up. Now you're making this look really easy, but I mean, if somebody at home, if they have any apprehensions whatsoever, it's best to call in a professional, right? I would because you're dealing with electrical, so okay. it's a little more dangerous, but if you're comfortable with it, the steps are what we just showed you. There's really nothing else to it. Are you ready to flick the power back on? Let's do it. Power's back on, why don't you flip it on and see how we did. All right, here's the switch and the dimmers. Let there be light. Let's dim it a little bit and I promised you I'd set the mood for you there, Michael. <laughs> In less than 15 minutes and around 20 bucks, I now have complete control over the light in the room. Small price to pay for a little romance. There you go. Shh.